Hello traders and welcome to another video analysis. Today is Thursday, 17th of December 2020. Uh, let's take a look at the Forex calendar. It looks like we have a busy day today and uh, then of course we'll do some appropriate technical analysis. So we swipe down towards the Thursday and what do we have today? As you know, uh, we got some data from the New Zealand, uh, the GDP had been released deep in the night. It was better than expected beating the expectations of 12.9%. Uh, the actual result was 14%, as you know, for the third quarter. Uh, so it was way, way, way better than the minus 11 uh, uh, in the last last quarter, last third quarter. So uh, unemployment rate, a little bit lower than expected, 6.8% versus the 7%. And employment change was very nice, 90% more uh, jobs created. Uh, Part-time employment change, a little bit subdued, 84.2,000 uh, versus the 98,000. So it wasn't, uh, it wasn't that good. And the participation rate, uh, way than expected, 66.1% versus the 66%. So it's, it was even better than the uh, data from the, uh, the previous month. The next important uh, data is the Swiss National Bank basic interest rate decision uh, that will uh, have place at um, half past nine today. And then, of course, we got the monetary policy assessment and the Swiss National Bank press conference. Um, as you can see, the uh, current interest rates in Switzerland are um, negative. It's a negative 0.75 the market participants expect this uh, to be still uh, valid so the forecast is minus 0.75 percent and uh, apparently um, this is uh, as well my point of view on that, on that matter there is no reason for the swiss national bank to hike or cut the interest rates even more so this is right now pretty uh, pretty clear for everyone if there is any move or any hint of a move in the nearest future by the SNB, then we will see some kind of a massive move on the related forex pairs, uh, including the Swiss franc. Uh, the next important, uh, of course, event is Bank of England interest rate decision. Uh, it will take place at 1 p.m. As you can see, those interest rates are still positive, 0.1%. The market expects mm, this uh, rate to be, to be put on hold, so 0.1% is expected. And basically, there is no change in asset purchase facility. Um, uh, the votes of the official bank rate and uh, uh, the monetary uh, policy uh, summary. So any kind of a surprise from the Bank of England, it doesn't matter if that was gonna be cut or hike, will uh, cause a massive move on the British pound. So two um, basic um, currencies, two major currencies to take a look today, British pound and the Swiss franc, interesting. Um, data from the Canada, ADP North Farm Employment Change, half past two, and half past two, we have a bunch of data from um, US, but those are not that much um, important. We got some building permits and housing starts, we have a Philadelphia Fed Manufacturing Index, and then we got unemployment claims and continuing claims. As we know, um, uh, the, during the recent uh, 24 hours, the United States has noted uh, a major increase in the COVID cases. So this unemployment claims and continuing claims should be bigger than uh, than even ex expectations, right? So I think that this, this data will be beat and uh, it might get even towards the level of 900,000 uh, unemployment claims, okay? So please pay attention to this data, half past two today, uh, data from the United States. So what do we, f what do we should do? We should take, um, uh, take a look on the uh, Euro to GDP, I think. We should take a look to the um, Swiss franc, and I think we should take a look to the New Zealand dollar as well. So let's start with the New Zealand dollar, and after this kind of a news that we had uh, overnight, as you can see, we got a breakout. The level of um, 7,109 uh, pips had been violated. Clearly, we got the nice, nice, nice technical support at 7,056 pips. Right now, in um, the high is 7,143. But it looks like we might get even even higher. Uh, the next target would be somewhere at the level of uh, 7,200 pips. 
So this is our this is our um, current um, trend on the New Zealand. We are still going going up, going up. The key technical um, the key technical support, or you can call it now demand zone, is seen between the levels of 6,941, 6,972. As long as we trade above this zone, the market will likely go higher so the uptrend will be continued we got a strong momentum here the momentum is right now above the level of 70 points on the rsi uh, to be exact it's 75 points so we got a strong momentum in extremely overbought market conditions and as you can see here we got some divergence here between the price and the momentum this high was made on the lower momentum but the momentum is still strong so Please keep an eye on the behavior of the New Zealand dollar because we might be uh, soon uh, getting some kind of a pullback or a correction. But it will be only a local pullback. And as long as we trade above this Z, uh, this, uh, this uh, zone, um, uh, demand zone, the uptrend will continue towards the new high. Uh, Euro to the British pound. Euro to the British pound. As you can see, the market st still favors to buy the uh, British pound. This was the big, 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 big spike up with long upper shadow. And we got the confirmation of a down move, little bit of the lower volatility. And today we are getting closer, closer to yesterday's lows at the levels of 8,991 pips. If we break um, below this level, to be exact, below this, this kind of a level 8984 then we will likely uh, touch the 8951 and then we are getting straight towards 8865 which is the swing low so please pay attention on the other hand please pay attention to this level 8865 this is our next level to be to be very very uh, important for us in the future because any violation of this level will definitely go um, go wrong for the uh, for the for the bulls and the market will will just slump even even lower as you can see the momentum is already at the level of 50 49 so this is kind of a neutral level and uh, the market participants are waiting for the for the trigger to either bounce higher or to break lower below 8,984. This is the key level for the euro to the GDP for now. And of course, we need to take a look at the Swiss franc. So this is the Swiss franc chart. And as you can see, we got this analysis uh, some times ago. Uh, I think we should even move on the on the weekly time frame because uh, as far as I'm concerned, there is something important going on here. Uh, as you can see, we are going lower and lower and lower. It, it's not even appropriate right now uh, to look at this, but the major technical support, 8,998, had been violated. As you can see, we have to go back to the 2015 to see appropriate level of a support. And this level of support is after the Swiss franc crashed, right? So it's very hard right now to... Uh, to pinpoint some sort of a reliable technical support on the Swiss on the Swiss franc, we can go as low as um, seven thousand four hundred. But you know, uh, we need to do, take this um, take this level with a pinch of salt. Uh, I think the next rather reliable um, reliable level is seen here at let's say I'm, I mean this this zone here from 2014 i think this is yeah 2014 the beginning of 2000 yeah the beginning of 2014 it's 8691 that would be the next next target for the for the um, uh, us dollar to the swiss franc per in the long term let's switch back to the um to the daily time frame chart so that would that would be the the target let me just yeah there you go sweep it up and we don't need any more of a Fibonacci retracement. This is our situation. This is our situation here right now. And as you can see, we might even, well, it's pretty much obvious that this trend is down, right? So I don't really have to, uh, I don't really have to do much more here because it's really obvious that we are going lower and lower. So the next, the next target would be 
long term 8691 we broke below this uh, this trend line here um we don't kind of need this line we don't kind of need this line uh, I, apparently all of this upper lines here are just not uh, uh, are still valid but are not applicable uh, anymore the technical support well the, the recent one is at the low of this candle which was at the level of uh, 8825 so that's the that's the that's the level 8825 let's just uh, 23 I will, okay, we want 25 there you go so that's the intraday technical support but will likely be uh, violated you can even see this uh, if you if you get some uh, kind of a trend line here we, you can even see how how this market is trending inside of this kind of a channel here and uh, it's going pretty much very 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 yeah very precisely from the band to band right so this is this is right now i think this is right now the key uh the key technical structure here we are going just from one from one channel line to other channel line as you can see it's pretty much getting getting lower and and lower i think we will break below 8825 of course we can see what will be the reaction for the um, uh, interest rate of, of the Swiss National Bank but most likely on this market uh, we are getting towards 8,691 uh, 8, pips in the nearest, uh, in the nearest uh, future. The one thing that might be concerning uh, for the uh, for the bears is the extremely oversold market conditions right now we are just uh, hovering around the level of 30 we are just below a level of 30 20 28 points right now so the market is extremely over oversold so we might see some kind of a you know uh, bottom pickers uh, showing up somewhere here around the um, 8800 level and uh, they will try to push the market higher as long as we trade inside of this short term uh, channel here the outlook is still um, to the downside the trend is down and there is no way of any kind of a meaningful uh, pullback or correction towards the level of 8998 right so as long as we trade here we most likely will keep going slowly slowly step by step lower and and lower on the swiss on the swiss franc and the last but not least let's take a look at our star from the cryptocurrency markets as you can see uh, we got this uh, bitcoin chart here this is the daily time frame chart and we are getting higher and higher so this fifth wave has not been completed yet the market conditions are again extremely overbought as you can see i got this this uh, uh, this um discount here from the from the lows of the 9843 so there was a first first wave second wave wave three wave four and i think we are starting the uh the wave five and this is the third wave of the wave five so uh the market should be uh, should be right now um uh, continuing this this up move and the fifth wave will be extended if the fifth wave will be extended then we should expect um uh, dynamic reversal very very dynamic reversal from the extended fifth wave so what is right now the target for the extended fifth wave i think it's around the 25000 first and then 30000 dollars of course uh, we can uh, we can reverse sooner than than this and we can uh, we can complete this wave sooner this is the first wave of the fifth wave second wave on the of the fifth wave that will be the third wave we need four and fifth of the fifth and then this up move is completed we are ready for the deep deep correction deep and uh, dynamic correction so twenty-five thousand on the next target let me just uh, put it on the chart i guess the 25 would be would be enough for the market participants right now and then i would expect some sort of the of the pullback or even correction so that's everything for me for today thank you very much for watching keep an eye on the data today and on the uh, interest rate decisions from the two major world banks so you can see what will be the impact of them um, during the next technical analysis thank you very much for watching take care guys and see you next time bye bye